In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the front, lower, rearward control arm bushing on your Honda Accord. Let's get started. Using a 19 millimeter socket, remove the five lug nuts. If your wheel was stuck, you can tap on the back of the tire to break it free from the hub. Remove that lug nut and remove the wheel. Using a 36 millimeter socket, remove the axle nut. Be sure that it moves freely inside of the hub. If it doesn't, you can use a saw face hammer and tap it in until it does. If you don't have a saw face hammer, you can reinstall the nut, just a few threads, or until it's flush with the face, and then tap on that. Remove the cotter pin for the ball joint. We're going to bend it up and pull it out. Using a 19 millimeter socket, remove the nut. Using two 17s, we're going to remove the nut and bolt for the shock. Remove the bolt. Using a 16 millimeter, we're gonna remove the nut for the sway bar link off of the control arm. We're gonna use a pair of locking pliers on the back of the sway bar link stud to hold the stud while we remove the nut. We don't wanna rip the boot or tear the boot. We just wanna get it on the collar. Remove the nut, pull the sway bar link out. Give the control arm a bonk to remove the ball joint from the control arm. Give it a pull down. Using a 19 millimeter socket, remove the front bolt for the control arm bushing. Using a 17 millimeter socket, remove the rear bolt We're going to use a pry bar to help us pull the control arm out. I'm going to remove the back, pull it over to the side. And remove it from the vehicle. We're going to mark all four spots on our rear control arm bushing, transferring it to the control arm. This will help us reinstall. Set the control arm up in the press. Remove the front control arm bushing. Use a wire wheel and clean out inside of the bushing. Fully install the front bushing. Be sure it's flush with the front of the arm. Be sure you have your marks lined up. Install the front control arm bushing first. Get the bolts lined up. Then 
to get that started, one or two threads. Pull the knuckle to the side. Get the rear into place. Make sure that the shock is over the bushing. Get the rear bolt lined up. To get the bolt through, we need to have the front of this bushing come down. To do that, we're gonna use a wrench. We're gonna put the box end over it. And we're gonna pull it up, helping that end into place, pushing it as we go. Get the bolt started and close, but do not tighten it. Get the front bolt close, but not tight. Pull down on the control arm, install the ball joint, make sure it's seated. We're going to pull the shock down. If you need to, you can use a jack to help you line up the shock with the control arm. Get the nut started on the back side. Snug it down. Install the ball joint nut. Snug it down. Install the sway bar link into the control arm. Install the nut. We're going to use a pair of locking pliers to grab the shoulder on the back and then snug down the nut. Torque the ball joint to 65 foot pounds. Be sure when you do this, the stud is not spinning. Go up to an additional 60 degrees or until you can fit a cotter pin through a slot in the nut that matches up with the hole in the stud. Install the cotter pin, bend it around. I'm gonna cut the ends off. Torque the shock nut to 32 foot-pounds. Torque the sway bar link nut to 28 foot-pounds. If you can't get a torque wrench on it, do the best you can. Be sure the stud is not spinning as you torque it. Using a jack, we're gonna push up on the control arm to load the suspension. To torque the control arm bushings, the control arm needs to be up. With the suspension loaded or on the ground, we're gonna to torque these control arm bushings to 61 foot-pounds. Torque the rear control arm bushing to 61 foot-pounds. Remove the jack. Install the axle nut and snug it down by hand. We're going to use a punch inside the fins of the rotor, pressed up against our caliper bracket. Torque the axle nut to 181 foot-pounds. Remove the punch. 
stake the axle nut. Install the wheel. Install the five lug nuts. Snug the nuts down. Torque the lug nuts in a star pattern to 80 foot-pounds. Once you're done with this job, take your car to a local shop and have them do an alignment. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.